Joe Biden just got Tommy John surgery. I am at a loss for words, honestly, at this point with what's going on with elbows and baseball. There's so much to say, yet I don't know what to say or how to say it all. So half of what I say in this video might make no sense, but oh my God, the Tommy John epidemic was bad 10 years ago five years ago, last few years. I mean, I feel like it keeps hitting points that we think is the breaking point, and then it gets worse. Rinse and repeat. Throughout the course of every season now, a lot happens, but baseball's elbow epidemic getting worse is one of those things that's become annual. I could go on about the whole origin of where this stuff starts, how it begins with kids throwing as hard and as much as they do, the pressure coaches and parents put on them, the pressure and emphasis of having big velocity if you want to play for a college or get drafted, stuff like that. But there's other stuff I think is more relevant to today. So to really sum things up, the human elbow is not meant to throw as hard and as frequently for such a long period of time. That's it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It doesn't matter how protected you are either. How much your team limits your innings and pitch count, you're gonna have elbow issues. Uri Perez, top Marlins pitching prospect last year and one of the top pitching prospects in the game, made his debut in rookie season last year at just 19 years old. And he showed some of his potential and the electric stuff that he has. But with him being so incredibly young and with it being 20. 24, naturally, and as expected, the Marlins quote-unquote babied him last year. They made sure he wasn't going to throw too many innings, he was mostly just up there to get his feet wet, but not to go all out just yet. Even though the Marlins made the postseason, they had a plan set in stone, a plan that he would be shut down for the rest of the year. No need to push him. At the same time, his teammate, the man who won the Cy Young Award the year before, Sandy Alcantara, was getting Tommy John surgery. Sandy was a guy who not just threw hard and pitched well, but also someone who pitched deep into games. He was a legit pitcher, not just throw whose velocity, if anything, got better as the game progressed. And here he was having elbow issues, now getting Tommy John to add on to a star-studded list of other pitchers having to get Tommy John in 2023. So no Sandy for 2024, and just when we were hoping 2024 would be the first full year of Uri Perez and his development in the big leagues, he has to be sidelined for elbow soreness before eventually having to get Tommy John. And the scariest part? The Marlins couldn't have done anything more to prevent this. Other than having him just stop pitching and retire or something, there's absolutely nothing. They treated him with caution. They shut him down for the playoffs. They did the most, yet he still ended up under the knife. I've had this thought before, and it's as strong as it's ever been now, and I'm going to say it as confidently as ever now. If you enjoy these videos, you should consider subscribing, but I also strongly believe every pitcher in baseball is a walking elbow injury. A Tommy John on surgery waiting to happen and I've just come to accept it. No matter how much fun I love watching a pitcher do his thing whether he's on my team or anywhere, I already have it set in my mind that he's going to get Tommy John surgery and miss a year and a half. Now when he gets it, I don't know, but the simple reality of him getting it at least one time is as inevitable as Thanos without the one reality where Iron Man beat him. The Red Sox signed Lucas Giolito during the offseason and although he isn't necessarily looked at as the ace material he was a few years ago, he was still good pickup in a sense where there was at least one thing you knew you could get from him. Innings. Whether his ERA was under three or like four and a half, Giolito's thing was his guarantee of making every start and being out there to eat up innings and help out the bullpen. Well, that's at least what we thought of it as, a guarantee, when in reality, it's no guarantee. And if anything, with what we're seeing continuously happen, the more healthy seasons pitchers have where they rack up innings, you can make the argument that they are less appealing to sign because that just means they've used up more of their juice and elbow issues are probably around the corner. Giolito was not a guy with elbow problems. Problems. He passed his physical with the Red Sox. They obviously wouldn't have given him millions stacked on millions of dollars if they saw anything. Giolito shows up the spring training feeling good, and then all of a sudden, boom. His elbow hurts after an outing, and he gets elbow surgery to repair his UCL. Breaking news, Donald Trump has a torn UCL and has to get Tommy John. It will be interesting to see how this affects the upcoming election, but considering Biden is also getting the surgery, it's not like things won't be even. Garrett Cole is a better example. He, like Giolito, has a track record of making starts, racking up innings, but to add on to that, Cole's also one of maybe the best pitcher in baseball. Also like Giolito, there wasn't any prior warning to any elbow problems, but this spring, Cole's elbow feels taxed after just 50 pitches. He gets an MRI and as of now won't be getting surgery. Now, I'm only as credible of a doctor as a certain bald-headed individual on a certain inappropriate and sinful website, but elbow pain doesn't just magically disappear. Garrett Cole probably will have to get Tommy John at some point, and it sounds weird saying probably, it's almost a guarantee, and it sucks, and it only keeps getting worse. You ever get so caught up in watching baseball that you forget about dinner? I cannot be the only one. And then you gotta worry about preparing the food, cooking it, all of that, making sure it's healthy and fresh. Fast food just doesn't cut it, and cooking takes time that we don't have. 
but I've just the solution. Because I've teamed up with Factor, the wonderful, fresh, never frozen meals delivered right to your doorstep, you can now focus on the game and everything else without worrying about future dinner plans. With a menu tailored to your dietary needs and ready in just two minutes, Factor lets you enjoy gourmet dishes without the fuss. Plus, they offer a variety of snacks and beverages to keep you fueled all game and all day long. I absolutely love Factor myself. I have nothing bad to say about it, honestly. It's good food, affordable. I'm an advocate for any company that makes having fresh meals easy. So head over to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ITALK50 for 50% off your first box and 20% off your next box. That's ITALK50 at Factor75.com. Don't drop the ball on this deal. Make your life easier with factor. Now, back to the video. Breaking news, Superman just tore his UCL and is getting elbow surgery. It's unclear how much this will affect his talents, but you best believe a bunch of terrorist groups are going to try and take advantage of this opportunity. Not that I'm a big conspiracy theorist, but after doing some research, I also found that a man named Clark Kent suffered a torn UCL and had to get Tommy John, ironically, right when the Superman news came out. Now, don't go crazy yet, it's just a little working theory, but I may be onto something. And for more news, not a conspiracy, after his latest outing, one which featured Spencer Strider throwing the slowest, fast balls of his career, Strider revealed he had elbow discomfort, going to get an MRI, and only more bad news has followed. That MRI revealed damage in Strider's UCL, and he will be further evaluated by Dr. Keith Meister in Arlington, Texas at a date yet to be determined. So that sucks, but it gets worse. Shane Bieber for Cleveland, whose velocity and strikeout numbers have gone down in recent years, started this year out real strong, striking out the most hitters in baseball through his first two starts and not giving up a single run through 12 innings. And then out of nowhere, he's done. See you in the later half of 2025. And then Jonathan Loisega on the Yankees. Out of nowhere, his UCL is torn. Tommy John. Except the fact that it happened out of nowhere isn't true. For Strider, Bieber, for Loisega, for Cole, for Giolito, for Superman, for Trump, for Biden, all the above. Throwing a baseball this hard and over this much time and not thinking you're going to get elbow issues is like openly running into a battlefield and expecting not to at least get clipped once. Maybe as you're running onto that battlefield, you're healthy. But whether you're healthy or already banged up, that doesn't change the fact that you're still about to get shot. It's inevitable, whether they never have had it, whether they have already had it before, etc. Strider has already gotten Tommy John surgery back in 2019 when he was a sophomore at Clemson University. That seems normal too. Jacob deGrom got it for the second time last year. Shane McClanahan, Walker Bueller, Dustin May have all gotten it twice. Drew Rasmussen could have gotten it for a third time but chose to get the newer updated internal brace procedure, but still, that's three elbow surgeries for him. A big theory is the updated rules to speed up games so the pitch clock which gives pitchers no time to take a breather while pitching are what's making this worse. I've had the take that I don't believe that's truly affecting it, and I'll stand by that. If it is affecting it in any way, it's nothing in my eyes. Elbow issues have been going on for years, and the new rules were just implemented for the first time last year. I think what it is is a very simple problem with an incredibly complex solution. It's 2024. We have such advanced technology nowadays for everything. The best doctors, the best everything. We're as smart and as knowledgeable as ever, yet it's not preventing injury. Injuries, and what's happening right now is beyond rock bottom. It's gotten completely out of hand. Tommy John won. He won the damn war. And if you think he hasn't, I mean, when every single pitcher is guaranteed to get elbow surgery nowadays, what would you call that? That's called something Major League Baseball needs to seriously address. One of the things I hate so much about football is the realistic reality that at any given time, your favorite player, no matter what position he plays, could get some season ending injury. You always have to hold your breath because at any moment, anyone's leg can just snap in half or whatever, and he's done for at least a year. And baseball, really any other sport, if something like that happens, it's more rare. But pitchers in baseball are becoming more like NFL players in that sense. NFL players could very realistically get hurt at any moment because it's such a rough and violent sport. And with pitchers in baseball, they can now hurt their elbow at any moment because of how unhealthy it is to throw a baseball that many times over a long period of time. It's not even a big deal anymore in an individual sense because everyone is having elbow problems. You can't at all be surprised. It's also crazy because in today's brand of baseball, pitchers have the lowest workloads, mostly because of this issue. Yeah, some of it may be because of analytics, the whole third time through an order thing, but overall, five or six innings are way more of a standard now for starting pitchers rather than seven, eight, or nine. 200 innings is a massive feat now. That was just a regular thing years ago. And if someone pitches 200 innings now, like I said before, I wouldn't even take that as a good or trustworthy thing, but more so that that pitcher is just closer to having elbow surgery than he would have been if he pitched 160 innings or something. And why would anybody give a big contract to a starting pitcher anymore? Okay, they 
throw hard and are nasty. That's great. But there's also a 100% chance they will be getting surgery at some point. Is it worth it? These Garrett Cole, Yoshinobu Yamamoto type contracts. It's a scary thing to think about for the pitching market for guys who want to make money. But at this point, I don't know what to tell you. You may deserve money in terms of stats and performance, but in terms of reliability, you're probably going to have elbow issues. And that's not something any team wants to commit long term to, as they shouldn't. Obviously, it'd be stupid. And now every day we have someone new joining the TJ party, or at least getting close to it. Framber Valdez felt soreness in his elbow recently and is visiting team doctors. Nick Pavetta then said, hey, don't forget me, and is now on the 15-day injured list because of a right elbow flexor strain. Josiah Gray on the Nationals, same exact thing, just keeps racking up and racking up. It's absolutely out of control, and MLB needs to start seriously at least coming up with things and ideas to figure out how to solve this problem. It's obviously not an easy one or something that will be fixed soon. It seems like a very complicated answer as nobody truly knows how to prevent having elbow problems. No matter how advanced the person and the technology is nowadays, but man, something's gotta give. It's bad. Really, really bad. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.